I'd like to give you some help establishing your first connection using MOBA Xterm to our computational cluster and show you some things that you can do uh, to help get started running VASP calculations. So the first thing that you need to do, assuming that you've installed MOBA Xterm uh, on your laptop or machine, is find the program and then run it. And so I just typed it down here into the search window. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up MOBA X term, and it gives me this interface here. And what I want to do is use the session button in the upper left to click session. The session I want is what's called a secure shell, SSH. So I click on that, and now the host, you can use this to connect to any host that you have an account on, but our machine, L-I-G-H-T-N, blighten.valpo.edu, and I could click specify the username, but I'm going to just go ahead and click OK here. And so you can see a window opens up, and it prompts me to log in. I use my username to log in, and normally then it would prompt you for a password, but I've already uh, arrange to have my password stored and you have that option as well. It'll prompt you to ask if you want your password to be stored automatically or whether you want to type it out yourself. Anyway, in this case, now I'm logged in and you'll see two things here. We've got a command line uh, and I can just check to see where I am. PWD tells me I'm in slash home slash Zygmunt, which is my home directory. And then the left hand bar over here tells me what my individual files and directories are in this particular home directory. And we're going to use this a little bit later on to upload and download files between Lighten and my local PC. And that's going to be especially important when we want to look at uh, visualizing the results of a calculation using a program like ChemCraft. But for now, let me just uh, show you something on here that you'll need to do in order to start running calculations. You don't want to create directories within your home directory uh, that contain files for calculations because there's limited disk space there. So what you want to do is cd to the data folder, cd slash data, and if you just do that now, pwd, right, I'm in the slash data directory, and if I type ls minus l, I'll see that lots of different users have uh, directories within this data disk, including me as Zygmunt. Also, there's a shared folder, a shared directory there that we'll come back to in just a minute. But the first thing you want to do if you're a new user is create your own directory. So you'll use mkdir. So if my, if my username was Fred, okay, then I would type mkdir Fred and that would establish a new directory that would be called Fred. And you can see that now up here. Now I'm going to remove that because uh, I don't want uh, to use that directory for any of my calculations. To remove a directory, you just type rmdir and then the directory name. So we'll get rid of that. But you'll have one with, uh, and, and what you should use here is your username. So that's generally first initial and last name. And then within that directory, if I cd to mine, here, this is where I have lots and lots of subfolders that contain uh, the data files, the input files, as well as the output files for my VASP calculations. And uh, let's just say that I might want to uh, go in there at some point and do some editing of files. And so the directory that I have set up is a test directory for a simple water calculation here. And so if I go into that, there's all these files. Uh, among them are some of the, I've already run this calculation, so there's output files here as well. But uh, when I first copy into a folder like this, the VASP input files, for example, in car, uh, I may want to edit those. And so a simple editor that is available in Linux is called gedit. And so if you type gedit in car, this is going to open this file, but I don't just want to hit enter just yet. I want to put an ampersand here, which will run this command in the background. It'll open up a window for me that I can use to do editing, 
but I'll still have the command line prompt so I can do other things. And that ampersand is very helpful. So if I hit enter here, there's a process that's been created. And in just a moment, it should open up a window. And I get some kind of an error message here. Don't worry about that. Uh, it'll open up a window. And I can see down here, uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, now there's a, there's a window that has opened up with the NCAR file. And I've got a cursor in there. I can move it around either using the mouse or I can do it using arrow keys. And it'll move around, and I can make changes to this file. So for example, if uh, I copied this from a directory, and now I want to use it to do a calculation for something besides water, I might want to change the very first line uh, so that I would have the name of the particular molecule. And then some of these settings may be different than I've used in previous calculations. So I can make changes to this. When I'm done, I can click Save. And then I'll have the appropriate in-car file for the calculation I want to run. But I don't want to make any changes to this. I'm just going to close it. Okay, And then I go back to, this will get me back to the command line. It says done, gedit in-car, that process is finished. And so, uh, so that, that's basically the, the simplest way for you to edit data files uh, on our cluster uh, within Linux. Now, let me go back and uh, just go back to the, uh, I'm going to cd dot dot, which means go up one level. So now I'm back in my data szigmund directory. And I'm going to cd one more dot dot, <coughs> and that will go back to, I'm, I'm now just in the data directory. And there's a shared folder I mentioned earlier. So if I cd to that, this is where we have put uh, within one more directory called VASP input. So if I cd to that, within this are the four standard VASP input files, as well as the shell command that we use to actually execute the VASP program. And so quite often, uh, especially when you're running your first calculation, you will want to copy these files from this shared directory into the directory that you've established to do your calculation. So let me show you how to do that. Again, uh, this involves using the copy command and understanding how the path names work in Linux. So uh, let me go back to my own. I'm going to get out of this shared folder. And now I'm going to go back to my own folder on the data directory, so slash data slash s sigma. And let's say I want to do a calculation on a molecule. Uh, let me pick methanol, CH3OH. All right, so I, I make a directory for that. OK, and now I have this directory, CH3OH. If I were to go into that, right, then I won't have anything in there. It'll be empty. Uh, but if I print the working directory, you'll see my path, slash data, s sigma, slash CH3OH. Now, I want to copy those input files from the shared folder into this folder here. And then I'll do editing of those and be able to get ready to run the calculation. So let me just show you how to do that with one of those files. First, I have to go back to the place where that shared folder is. So I hit cd dot dot a couple of times. And now I'm back to slash data. So I cd to the shared. I have to cd down one more level to this vasp-input. And here are the files I want to copy. So let me let me type cp for copy in car. I'm going to hit that. And then I need to give the directory that will show where I want to copy this file. So if you remember what the directory was, is slash data slash, and then my username, sigma slash ch3oh. Okay, So what this is going to do when I hit Enter, it'll copy that file from where I am right now into this new directory that I've just created. And if I just hit Enter now, it'll give it the same file name. If I wanted it to be a different file name, I could, I could hit slash and type in a new file name. But VASP is always looking for input files with these specific names. So it's best just to leave the name the same. So if I hit this now, 
then, okay, it it copied that, but let me just check. I'll check and see if it's actually there. So I'll type ls minus l slash data slash s sigma slash ch3oh. And if I hit enter, you see that that file is now there. And it was just copied uh, a few minutes ago. So you can do that in order to copy files from one directory to another one. And I would want to copy all of these into that ch3oh directory, then I'd have to do some editing to get ready to run the calculation. Uh, but that's the basic strategy uh, that you can use as a new user uh, to get ready to run your first calculation. So this uh, should help you get started. And I'm going to uh, create some other videos that will show you once you've finished the calculation on uh, our cluster using BASP, how to create an output file that will be convenient to visualize the results using ChemCraft.